Uh, give Oklahoma credit. Uh, they hit shots. We didn't. Uh, when we got Asmeri and Kari in foul trouble, they were killing us on transition because nobody talked at that time. We weren't getting back. Uh, the fourth quarter, we scored five points because I think we took, what, 13 shots. Nine of them were threes. I mean, and we were one for nine. So, you know, we did have an opportunity to win there. We ran a play. Esmeri had a wide open shot, missed it. Kari got a rebound and we kicked it out. But uh, we we looked slow. We got in foul trouble. Madison was getting cramps in her, her calves. And, uh, you know, we weren't getting back playing defense. And we didn't even go to the foul line. Too many turnovers, way too many turnovers at once again, leaving our feet in the paint. So those kind of things, they all add up to a loss. Joe Ricardo, go ahead. Mike, the quicker turnaround than expected when this game was moved up a day, did it have an effect on preparation at all? No, I don't think so. All right, we, we can't blame that. Heck, I mean, we we were. I mean, it didn't have no no effect on turnovers. It had no effect on not getting back on defense. I mean, we just didn't. We act like we was very tired, didn't get back, and, and we got in foul trouble early, and, and that really hurt us. It, it really hurt us. Then it hurt us during the second half a little bit, and uh, we just wouldn't get back. We were taking some quick bad shots, and they were getting shots on the other end, and. We never got to the foul line. When we did try to go inside, we turned it over. Uh, when we did get in the paint, we turned it over. So, uh, you know, we, we just didn't play well. But again, give Oklahoma credit. Sam Coniglio, go ahead. But you mentioned the foul trouble issues tonight. With, with a shorter bench, how much more difficult is it kind of juggling that um, moving forward? Well, really, against Oklahoma, it wasn't a problem at all. I mean, they had four guards in at one time. So, really, when we went with Jazz, uh, Jasmine Carson in there, you know, without – with uh, Blessing, it really – you know, other than uh, we didn't do a good job in transition defense, but offense, we was able to run stuff and, and that type of stuff. Jazz, you know, I, she was four for four, had uh, 10 points, and she didn't hurt us at all. I, it really wasn't that. Uh, it just it was the rebound where we could spread and guard, you know. Kari and Esmeri is more like a 3-4, a, a so they can go inside, outside a little bit. And, and, and when we didn't have anybody else who could take their place to do that, it really hurt us. Skyler Callahan, go ahead. Hey, Mike, 37 turnovers in the last two games. Is there any common theme with those turnovers, and is that probably going to be your main focus in the next couple of days? Well, it was the main focus after the last game. Um, we're just, we're, we're, you know, everybody's clogging up the paint on us. They know we're going to drive, and, and we're not making good decisions when we get in the paint. Uh, we got to kick it away, or we got to keep our dribble, get out of there. We just can't wait. I probably 10 times a night we went down there and they clogged it up and we left our feet and had nobody to pass it to and turned it over. So, I mean, we just be, got to be smarter when we get downhill. Any more questions? Joe Bricotto, go ahead. Mike, a great challenge you got coming up on Wednesday. I mean, how difficult is it to get the team refocused or can something like this be a good thing to get the team refocused? I would hope they would be refocused. Uh, you know, I've been warning them uh, in practice and after the last game that, that we're doing a lot. We're not doing what we did, the little things, in order to win games. And, uh, you know, it, it caught up to us today. And, uh, you know, we'll see. We got veterans. I'm sure, you know, it'll take a day to get this game behind us. We got a, a lot of season left, so we got to come out and start a new streak. Nick Farrell, go ahead. Coach, along those same lines, I recognize that the game just wrapped up here about 15 minutes ago, and I'm asking you to reflect on something here, but an 11-game winning streak to tie a program record with 10 in a row in the Big 12 in this season, uh, that, that's quite an accomplishment that you guys have been able to really stick together with all the things that have been going on. Does that make what you guys have accomplished and that this game against Baylor coming up here is still, still more meaningful here? 
Well, yeah, I've, I've said year all year, win or lose. This group has done a great job. This group has done everything we've asked. They've stayed safe. They've stayed together. So I, I, I'm very proud of this group. I, I just, you know, we, we just got to regroup and do the little things again and, and, and you know, play as a team and, and, and those type of things. And then, you know, we need our inside to step up. We got to go inside some more. We've got to get the ball in the paint a little bit more. And, and so we got to really work on some things. And then transition defense was bad today. So we evidently need to work on that. And then our offenses, they're just clogging it up. They're just clogging it up. I mean, for us in the fourth quarter, go one for nine from the three, it wasn't working. You know, if you're hitting those shots, that's great. And then when we got downhill, we turned it over. You know, I'm telling them, get downhill, get downhill. And then we got downhill, we left for feet and turned it over for easy shots for them at the other end. I thought we showed a lot of heart when we went into the press and got the steal and had the ball. You know, we ran a play that we knew uh, we'd be wide open. We got the shot. We got the offensive rebound. And, uh, you know, we, we didn't win the game.